On the 15th of February, Red Bull unveiled their RB20 for the F1 2024 season, and it has caught quite a few people off guard with some of its major changes, as it looks visibly different in comparison to both their last year car, as well as what their rivals have introduced for this year's season. It is important to note that these are just renders, so teams often change or hide elements of the car in their renders, so it will most likely not be a 100% accurate representation of what we will actually see on the car in Bahrain testing, but it is still interesting regardless. Also, I'm not a technical engineer, so don't take what I say at face value, and I'm sure that there are more technically informed channels that have covered this car in greater detail. The first change to discuss is the front wing. As seen in this image, the nose of the RB20 is connected to the first element of the front wing, which differs from their car last year and many of their competitors' cars from this year. The W15 and SF24 instead have the nose of the car connected to the second element of the car. This creates a small gap between the first and second element of the front wing, and it supposedly looks like an aerodynamic design to manipulate the air to travel through it, making it go under and around the car. Also, the fluctuation of the shape of the RB20's front wing seems to be more radical than that of the W15 and SF24. Mercedes's and Ferrari's front wings look more leveled, whereas Red Bull's starts lower down at the center point, flares vertically upwards quite steeply, then goes back down again, creating this sort of unibrow shape. Moving on to the side pod inlets, this area is slightly more ambiguous as the renders of the RB20 look different to what the actual car looked like when it was unveiled. In this comparison from one of the renders, it is clear to see that the RB20 has an overbite arrangement, whereas the SF24 has opted for an underbite arrangement. On the Ferrari, it looks as if the side pod is isolated as its own thing, while Red Bull's side pod instead extends and connects downwards to underside of the side pod, which has an aggressive undercut. However, in contrast to the renders, the real-life car that was unveiled shows different side pod inlets. An image from the real-life car with the contrast turned up indicates that the inlets are instead vertical rather than horizontal, and it bears striking resemblances to that of Mercedes's W14, so it obviously has many asking questions as to whether Adrian Newey has taken inspiration from this. It will be interesting to see if this design can effectively cool the car down, as these horizontal inlets aren't as large as the wider horizontal ones. Additionally, Red Bull's side pods also appears to have a very aggressive undercut. Other teams also have an undercut design, but in my opinion Red Bull's is a little more noticeable, and maybe they want to try and create more pressure in that area to outwash the air under the side pods and around the car more aggressively to the rear of the car. Consequently, Red Bull looked to have incorporated the cannon-shaped outlets on the engine cover near the rear of the car that divert down, similar to that of the Mercedes W14. Funnily enough, the RB20 looks to have more radical outlets than that of the W15, despite Mercedes creating this idea last year. We've seen Newey many times inspecting cars up and down the grid with his notepad and pen in his hand, and perhaps he believes that Mercedes's innovations are actually able to provide a competitive advantage if implemented correctly. I've been watching F1 for over about 15 years, but I'm now beginning to find myself becoming more interested in the technical aspect of the sport. So I hope to increase my knowledge on this area so I can make more informed videos about upgrades and design changes that teams bring in the future. Let me know what you guys think about the RB20 or any of the other F1 cars unveiled in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and follow as it helps the channel grow. Thanks.